Welcome back. In the last lecture, we had discussed the Fourier transform on higher dimension as we, and we got uh, Planck's rule as well as the inverse and formula. So, in today's lecture, we are going to see some of the applications of Fourier transform related to PDE and also later on we will see its application to other problems emerging from science and engineering. To start with uh, on R n define the Laplacian ta is equal to summation i from 1 to n del square by del x i square. So, now consider the equation uh, delta of u is equal to 1 by c square del square u by del t square. So, for dimension n equal to 3, this determines the behavior of electromagnetic wave in the vacuum. Now, for convenience, so let us take consider c to be equal to 1 and then the problem what we are interested is is delta u is equal to del square u by del t square on R n cross 0 infinity and u of x 0. So, this is on the upper half plane we are considering when we come to the boundary of the upper half plane that is t is equal to 0. It is given by f of x this is on R n and then this is the second order differential equation P d e. So, this is x 0 is equal to g of x and for our uh, suitable use of Fourier analysis, let us take, let us assume both f and g to be in source space. Uh, it is an ideal situation, I mean, so we are assuming to perform, to convince ourselves how to solve this equation. Okay, this is uh, called a Cauchy problem for wave equation. So, this is a wave equation and this is for wave equation. Okay, so, then like what we had seen in one dimensional case, now if we are taking the Fourier transform on both the sides of the equation by taking Fourier transform we get delta u hat xi comma t for a transform we are taking only on the space variable. So, this is equal to del square u by del t square hat at xi t and this what we know we have computed this that this is going to be minus 4 pi square mod j square then u hat of xi comma t and this on to compute the Fourier transform on the right hand side we have seen that the operator del by del t and del square by del t square they are going to commute with the Fourier transform because we can we are assuming a nice condition we can take out the derivative outside the integral. So, now what we get is that this is del square by del t square 
and then this is u hat j t. So, this now has is a an O D E second order O D E and then this will imply that u hat of j comma t is equal to a j cos 2 pi mod j t plus b j sin 2 pi mod j t. Now, what we know is that uh, we need to find out uh, the constants a j and b j and uh, what uh, is known to us is that u hat z at 0 this is equal to integral over r n u of x comma 0 e to the power minus 2 pi i j dot x dx, which is nothing but this is f of x, this is f hat of z. So, u hat z at 0, this is equal to a of j and t is equal to 0 sin is 0. So, this is nothing but what we have observed is f hat of z. Similarly, if we want to take del by del t of u hat j at 0, this is again what we are going to get, this is g hat at j and now u hat of j is this. So, this is uh, uh, going to be a j uh, minus sin 2 pi mod z into 0 and then 2 pi mod z plus b j cos 2 pi mod z into 0 into 2 pi mod z. So, this will imply 2 pi mod z into b j this is equal to g hat at z. So, b j is equal to g hat by uh, 2 pi. So, uh, so, now if we plug in the value then we get u hat of z comma t this is equal to f hat of z cos 2 pi mod z t plus g b j is g hat of j by 2 pi mod z. So, this is sin 2 pi mod z t divided by 2 pi mod z. This is what is if you hat. So, now by the these are all f and g are nice class of functions what we have taken and uh, therefore, by Fourier inversion we can write x at t this is equal to integral over r n f hat of z cos 2 pi mod z t plus g hat of z sin 2 the power 2 pi i z dot x d z. This is what is going to be the solution of uh, uh, the equation wave equation we had considered and uh, uh, obviously u of x comma 0 if you take it then this is f hat of z this guy is going to vanish. So, this is f of x u t of x comma 0 
is nothing but by the Fourier inversion this is g of x. So, this is the solution as a matter of fact one can show that the solution is unique, but uh, in the present lecture we are not going to address that problem. So, now the next one we will consider is the heat equation. on the higher dimension. So, consider the time dependent heat equation. This is equal to delta of u is equal to del u by del t. Yeah, on R n cross 0 infinity and u of x comma 0 this is equal to f of x. And uh, we as before we are assuming that f is going to be in the Swartz class. So, again we play the same game taking Fourier transform. we get that uh, minus 4 pi square mod j square u hat of xi comma t. This is equal to and uh, this is del by del t of u hat of xi t. Again, this is a ODE, first order ODE. So, we know precisely what this is going to be. So, this will imply that u hat of xi comma t, this is equal to some constant and uh, then e to the power minus 4 pi square mod j square hence what we have got that u hat at xi 0 this like before we can get that this is f hat of xi. So, this will imply that u hat xi t this is equal to f hat c j is replaced by uh, f hat of j into e to the power minus 4 pi square t. So, this will imply now if we define h t of x this is equal to integral on r n e to the power minus 4 pi square mod j square by t and e to the power 2 pi i j dot x dx. So, d j then we know that this is uh, how to compute the Ga for a transform of the Gaussian this is nothing but the dilated Gaussian. So, this is 1 by 4 pi t to the power n by 2 because 1 by square root of 4 pi t what we need to mm, deal with and this is minus mod of x square by 40. So, this is uh, the usual heat kernel this is what exactly what we had got in dimension 1 2. So, now u of x t this is nothing but f convolution of h t at x. And uh, now next if we want to compute steady state heat equation this is nothing but del of u plus del square u by del t square this is equal to 0 and you take u of x 0 
this is equal to f of x. Okay. Now, again by the same method, what do we get is that we get u hat of xi comma t plus del square by del t square u hat xi comma t, this is equal to 0. And we know that then this is again an ODE, we know how to solve it. This is equal to A of xi, then e to the power, uh, oh, this is minus 4 pi square mod j square, e to the power minus 2 pi mod j t. So, in order to find the value of uh, u hat of xi 0 as before is f hat of xi. Now, so u if we define p t of x such that is a kernel which is uh, denoted by some dependent on some constant dimensional constant which is comes through the gamma function by t by t square plus mod x square to the power n plus 1 by 2 that is the analog of the Poisson kernel in the higher dimension then one can show that p t hat of j this is equal to e to the power minus 2 pi mod xi t. Then u of x comma t, this is equal to f convolution of p t at x. That is what is going to be the solution of the steady state heat equation or for that matter the Dirichlet problem on the upper half plane. Now, uh, I would like to indicate uh, how does one arrive at uh, this in the higher dimension, uh, which is a little tricky. So, I will not give the full details, but uh, you can find out what is going on uh, while computing this portion kernels uh, for a transform. Okay, so, computation of of Fourier transform of Poisson kernel. Okay, so if we take f to be a nice class function with that means which has a moderate decay in uh, uh, f is a function from R to C with a moderate decay. then there is a subordination principle which works, then this is minus infinity to f of x dx, this is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of x minus 1 over x dx. Okay, so, this uh, is a uh, little uh, the trick is involved. So, now let us take R h s. This is I can write it minus infinity to 0 f of x minus 1 by x dx plus 
0 to infinity. Now, if I make a change of variable x going to minus of x, what I will I am going to get is that this is 0 to infinity f of 1 over x minus of x dx plus 0 to infinity f of uh, x minus 1 x 1 over x dx. So, now you can see that x is a non negative number therefore, I can make the substitution substitute x is equal to e to the power t. Then what do we get here? Now, this becomes minus infinity to infinity f of e to the power minus t minus e to the power t then d x is e to the power t d t plus here 0 can be attained at minus infinity to infinity f of e to the power t minus e to the power minus t e to the power t d t. Now, in this if I make a change of variable uh, then what we are going to get is minus infinity to infinity f of e to the power t minus e to the power minus t into e to the power minus t d t and here. So, if I take then this is e to the power minus t plus e to the power t then we have got d t and uh, this is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of 2 sin hyperbolic t and this is 2 cos hyperbolic t d t. So, now if we make a change of variable 2 sin hyperbolic t is equal to x if we take then obviously, what we are going to get that this is minus infinity to infinity f of x dx. So, this is uh, the subordination principle what we have got. So, now uh, if I take in particular consider f of x is equal to e to the power minus t x square. So, therefore, what what we are one is going to get is uh, minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus t x square d x this is equal to minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus t x minus 1 by x whole square d x and uh, which we know that left hand side is square root of pi by square root of t and then the right hand side is uh, e to the power this is minus 2 t e to the power 2 t is going to come out minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus t x square and then minus t by x square d x. So, making a change of variable what we get and bring it to the other side e to the power minus of 2 t this is equal to 2 square root of t by square root of pi and then this is look at this is an even function. So, therefore, I can make it 2 times 0 to infinity e to the power minus t of x square minus t by x square d x. Now, which making a change of variable as uh, t x square is equal to y what we are going to get that this is 1 by square root of pi 0 to infinity 
e to the power minus y e to the power minus t square by y dy by square root of y. Just with a change of variable, if you are taking t of x square is equal to y. And uh, let t is equal to pi mod x, then what we have is that e to the power minus 2 pi mod x is equal to 1 by square root of pi 0 to infinity e to the power minus of y and then e to the power minus pi square mod x square by y dy by square root of y. Now, we want to take the Fourier transform of that as you can see. So, if you take the Fourier transform e to the power minus 2 pi mod x this hat at xi this is going to be 1 by square root of pi integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus of y then I am changing the order of the integration e to the power minus pi square mod x square by y and e to the power minus 2 pi i j dot x and then this is d dx and then this is dy by square root of y. As uh, this we know how to compute the Fourier transform and then by using the gamma function this is uh, we will get a constant and this one can say is that this is p 1 hat at xi some constant which is going to depend on dimension. So, this precisely is going to be the uh, oh, oh, this is this is sorry this is p 1 of xi because 1 over 1 plus mod xi square is going to come into here with the gamma function and then that is what uh, is going to give us the required identity. So, this is uh, the sketch I mean usually it is proved to the subordination formula. Uh, so, hence what we got the steady state heat equation on the upper half plane which means we are given a function on the boundary and we are extending it to be a, a harmonic function on the upper half plane and that solution is going to give by f convolution with the Poisson kernel. So, we will see some further application as well as uh, what can be the possibilities of uh, we will discuss little bit about the Fourier series in the higher dimension in the next lecture and then some more applications of that too. Thank you.